Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 0.5 of my Let's Play of... What's this game again? Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter Obviously you're wondering what this 0.5 bullshit is. I'm actually doing this... This is the second part of my work in to the confrontation chapter, and it covers the gameplay aspect. Obviously in part zero we covered the story up to now, but now I'm going to assume that you didn't do a lot of things in the Catalyst chapter. Assuming, say, you did a minimalist run just for the fun of it. Well, there are some things you have to go back in Catalyst chapter and actually do in order to complete confrontation chapter. First one, you need the orb this girl gives you. So, accept her quest, and she'll give you the orb. It comes into... It comes into play much later, but... You're going to need to get it. You don't actually have to do the quest, you just need the item. Now, after this, you need to complete a quest here for the king of San Ilya, aka the Pope. He is so butt ugly, I hate him. Anyway, I'm gonna do what you say. And back to that alley port. This is the quest where you come to the Luddite village and the underground laboratory and things. Speak to the spy. Pick him up here. So obviously we've done this before, but this shouldn't take long anyway. Now the reason we're going to need to have done this is fairly shortly we'll have to get into well, in this chapter, Sabasa Kingdom, which requires this. That quest line requires it anyway. And then in Confrontation Chapter, part of the main story requires you to have Sabasa Kingdom done. Check it out, Isilde. She's so sleeping so peacefully. Ah, Luca, you fucked up. You know, I should have healed before I did this battle, because two of my characters are dead. Fortunately, they're also obscenely over low. What? <laughs> I'm here to save the world, like you. Yay, like me more. Mm, let's replace Beth. Don't join our party. No. Get away. Bad. Do your king crap. Pope crap or whatever. Huh. Whatever. Now Hilda is in our party. And my party's been healed, which is good. Oh. That was an explanation of things. But I didn't need to look at it. Anyway. With that quest done, we can do the Sabasa quest. Where's the drink? Well, whatever. I know where it is. Talk to that guy to produce... to proceed with this quest. Because you can't get into this house without talking to him. I think there's another NPC or two around the city that you could speak to instead to do this. But anyway. So here, Sarun, Saran, accept her quest. She can't get into the pyramid, how lame is that? You know you can recruit her afterwards, and I'll bet 
that if you do go and recruit her, you would find that she could perfectly handle herself inside the pyramid. Mm, well, I always run on very easy, so perhaps I'm wrong. Oops. Alright, get the blood from the Sphinx. And go back to Savasa. This guy can help. This is actually a pretty long quest because even after we defeat Sato here, there's another village we need to go visit. And then the quest is finished. Um, yeah, sure, Sato, you can join our party. Mm. Perfect. So let's go save those people in Lodite. Oh wait, they're doomed from the beginning. It is still incredible that Astaroth and Morgan only kill one person. Now Astaroth and Lilith only kill one person apiece. And Morgan has to deal with all the rest of them. I mean, talk about irresponsible older sisters pushing all the work on their littlest one. Alright, this is the final boss of the Savasar quest line. There we go. Gee, sucks that a whole village died and everything. Blah blah blah. That song is about Magistea, which is actually not required for Confrontation Chapter, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because the point of this save... I never did mention it, did I? I'm running this side sa save as I go along in the main quest line. And I'm going to have the Ilias side available. There are some changes, actual gameplay changes, in the Ilias side as opposed to the Alice side. They're not really big, but I can throw in a 0.5 part here and there where Ilias is different enough to justify it. Oh, hey, Lily. I'm going to kill you. So why are we in Magistea? You actually don't need to do this to complete Confrontation Chapter, but if instead of recruiting Lily like you should do, you decide to kill Lily and recruit Lucia, there is a change in the Confrontation Chapter. So this save will also have that. You know, the first time I played this in my trial run, I didn't know what was going on because I always thought that's how you got to Lily. Because I always just explored the house before trying to get to her. Or trying those particular stairs, anyway. So I didn't know that item I got out of that chest lets you go down the stairs and get to the boss. So, on our way to the boss. Here's the boss room. Healing. Whoa, ugly. Ah, that's just not right. So we knock her out. Strictly speaking, she's not dead, or so I hear. But anyway, the reason we did that was to recruit Lucia instead of her. So let's get this recruitment done. Yay. My guys in back all have the player skill on so that I don't have any encounters. So this should do for us. Now before I cut out, I'd like to give props to Mook. He did a walkthrough of uh, Catalyst Chapter, or Part 1 as they say, way back when. 
And after watching his walkthrough, I decided to start doing a walkthrough and Let's Plays of it. So I thought I'd give him props and also links. So, if you want to see what he's done in the YouTube channels Hentai Dildo and Flaming Dildo, you'll have links in any case. That's that for this part, and I will see you next time.